Welcome to the channel, guys. I'm gonna start digging out this French drain today, but I gotta get this mower out of here first because I want to lay some right in here. Uh, I, but the battery's bad, so I gotta jump it. You don't own one of these little jump boxes? You need to get one. They are so handy. I haven't charged this in about a year, and it's still holding the full. Well, it's got three bars out of four. This has a safety mechanism on it, so I've got to get this on here where I can put the seat on. Where I can put the seat down. And then I'm going to go buy a new battery one next time I go to town. Alright. All I'll do is turn her on. out of the way let me show you what we got going on today we're going to put in a uh, French drain actually we're going to put in two French drains let me show you what's going on now if you watched my video last week I brought in all this gravel uh, to put in here because this is where I'm going to be putting my garden and it flooded it had nothing to do with putting the gravel here it had everything to do with the 10 inches of rain that's what we got because it was filled up in that bucket man it has to do with the water flowing down here and also coming off this roof now this roof is not getting water at a fast rate except for out here because it's directly hitting it that's where you hear all the noise because there is a deck above this roof so it's trickling through but it, when you're getting a, a rain at that rate that's a lot of water and so what it was doing it was coming off here collecting there and it built up it flooded inside so we're going to dig a french drain right about here we're going to go down we're going to wrap around through that ditch so i'm going to dig a curved one we're going to go straight all the way the length of the building and then curve it into the ditch and i'm going to actually dig out a spot where this pipe will come out that'll be deeper uh, we'll do a little more ditch work i ain't going to get all this done today but we're going to get it started i will finish it by tomorrow also the water as you can see it's like a little bowl you see how this water slopes down this way you can actually see the where the water runs okay so i'm gonna dig another one right here this one will catch the down the water that's coming off the hill preventing it from getting up here 
and then also into the ditch and we're going to do some more better work on that ditch here in the future but that's going to help with the flooding in here as well and that you know this is the widest pipe they had so that's what i got to work with you know it's just going to have to work i do have some four inch pvc down there if i need it which i probably will in here uh that's the old drain pipe for my when i had the fifth wheel so right now where i need to begin i need to start breaking this rock and this is good because this is the rock i'm going to need once i put in my perforated pipe i need this good clean rock this has been washed by the rain all the dirt is off of it so that's what's going to go directly on top of the pipe after the hardware or the uh, landscape cloth i got that over there uh, before it gets wrapped you want to backfill it with these rocks and then you wrap it and then you then it's going to be backfilled the rest of the way with rocks so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to start out by getting this rake the side and then i'm going to start digging the ditches got to do it by hand man my back's feeling a little twitchy today i had to go get some air for the put there in a lawnmower tire when i bent over i just felt a little nerve going so i got to be careful i don't want to hurt my back so we got rain coming towards the end of this week and i'd like to have this done so let's see what i can get done yeah still my, my blisters have not healed up from doing this last week and sweeping for six hours out there so we're gonna get it done let's go well talking and y'all just keep listening i keep talking let's get to work First, I'm going to start about right here. I'm going to meet up with that. I have to go about 18 inches, and we're, every 10 feet, we're supposed to have an inch drop. So it's going to be a little deeper here. It's not going to be fun. I do not like digging. So it's going to come, let's say, about right there not going to be fun and I have to put all the dirt not right here but here I have to put it in a gorilla cart and take it out of here because it's not going back in the hole but I've got a lot of low spots out here I can use it on right here Good and soft. Oh. Alright guys, you get the idea.
All right, good start. This is very easy digging, but it's heavy. That's nothing but clay. And uh, now I gotta, I can't load it more than that. I gotta get it out of here, find some low spots. And uh, actually, I think what I may do is take this dirt and pile it up against this fence, create an even better channel. Just pile it up here. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't wanna go up against the wood there, but. You can see how low this is in here. Uh, if I pile it up against, make a, a little sloped rim there, it'll keep it out of their yard a little better because it really floods in there. Look at this goofy boy. What are you doing, boy? Is that your new spot? Waldo, Waldo. Okay, you were in some kind of a dreamland or something. I thought you were uh, having an episode or something because that's a weird spot. But hey, whatever floats your boat. All right, so I think, and then that way I don't have to bring that dirt as far because that stuff's heavy, man. And we'll just pile it up here. You'll see what I'm gonna do. All right, man. I'll be back in a little while, guys. This sucks. There you guys are again. Sneaking up on a boy when he's resting after five minutes work. <laughs> it is easy digging, but it's heavy digging. Can you dig it? I can dig it. You can dig it, I can dig it. We can dig it, we can dig it, we can dig it, we can dig it. Dig it. Isn't there a song like that? I can dig it, you can dig it, we can dig it. Dig it. Let's go dig it. You dig? slow going it ain't so slow digging it just digging all the stuff out of there and getting it to the right you know to the right depth because it's got to be deeper here than obviously than up there so i think we're getting it and like i said here i'll figure that out we got to dig some sort of pool and dig this out a little more but uh i think this will work just fine you can see the different layers that's all clay and down there at the bottom that's where we're hitting goes back thousands of years you know to the polyurethane age you know 10 10 000 million years ago we're getting down to that part and uh on i go i gotta dig this one all the way to the fence <sighs> like i said it ain't gonna all be done today <sighs> it's just kicking my butt man Whew. What happened to the days when you could call, when you had young men knocking on your door asking if they could make some money? That don't happen no more. Ain't no young guy wants to do this. Except for maybe like Drew or somebody like that. But there's, they're not lining up to do physical labor anymore, guys. So you got to do it yourself. And that's what I'm going to do. All right. And uh, this, that part ain't no fun either, hauling that dirt over there, as you can see. I'm gonna slope it, create a little gully in here. So I'm gonna get this all raked up. I'm gonna let it dry before I mess with that. But uh, 
Gotta get it done. Well, it's official. I broke the first sweat of the year. It's gonna be 80 degrees today. I spent all day yesterday out here. I'll show you guys. <laughs> it's like you could spend a whole day out here. It still doesn't look like you did nothing. But I got all the rest of that stuff pulled out of there. As you can see over there, I started piling that up again. And uh, all that's left is this thorny briar stuff, which I'll get my uh, weed whacker out here and knock all that down. But then there's still some wood in here. There's some pieces there Jeff could probably use for his wood stove. But I cut all these ugly looking trees out of here. There's actually a uh, big tree I cut down. Where the hell did it go? Oh, okay, way down there. All that was full of. This is what I got cleared out yesterday. This is all full of foliage. This whole corner. That's officially the last of all that. And before you can never get in here, now it's all clear. Uh, that tree is dead. Needs to come down. It's gonna fall on the other side of the property, so I have to go there and cut it up. And I've been thinning out in here. These little trees will never survive. They're growing right next to these. So I cut that one out. That was actually dead, I think. But that one needs to come out. And that one needs to come out. So a lot of people say, why are you going to cut trees down? Well, if they're not healthy and they're hurting another tree that's been there for years, there's no point in having it. And that one I'll probably leave. See how these three are growing so close together? The two of them have to go, which would you pick? Well, you're gonna pick the big one. You're gonna keep the big one. See, a lot of this is, is loose now. I just gotta drag it out. And uh, we're gonna get it looking good in here, man. I'm tired of looking at weeds and everything else. Obviously, that tree is not healthy. So that may become some lumber. And that one there's dead. I have to drop this one. I'm gonna do this myself, it's an easy drop. Uh, it, pine beetle got it. But here at the base, the wood will still be good. That's the last part they get to. And what I have to do is you see that big giant oak tree right there? Look at that lamb. So I can't drop this tree there. It's gonna hit that lamb and get caught up. So I have to put it right through there. And once I get all this stuff cleaned up, then I'll, I'll start pull, taking out these dead ones. 
that tree has to go it's unsafe as well as ugly but that's a good lumber tree so we get that milled up but I don't want to take any more than that out because you know this is providing shade for my chickens and Libby well, Libby's outside but the rest of them you know that's a nice cedar there just needs a little trimming all right man and that one there straight ahead is dead so that has to come down but I just don't want to drop a bunch of trees right now and have to deal with that all at once so these still need to be burned and this all needs to be hauled off to the scrapyard what do you say waddles what y'all looking at tree stump your tail feathers grew back yeah there's miss millie she's coming out i bet that scared the hell out of her when i started that lawnmower i didn't think of that but nothing i can do yeah, she's she scared everything again i don't understand i tried to take her out for a walk last night didn't work but she got to spend time with tilly there's miss tilly you coming to visit Melly? Yeah. All right, I gotta get back to work. It's not easy stuff, man. But it's going all right. All righty, righty, righty. We got about five feet to go. Whew. This so much isn't the hard boil. It's it's not easy. It's hauling that cart over there that's kicking my butt. <laughs> uh, Somebody had asked in the comments why they would put the house, you know, not higher than everything else. And, you know, that's a good question because up there is where I would have put it. That's the highest point on the land. Uh, let me get up here where y'all can see me. I'll show you. Well, up there, like where my mower is. That would have, to me, would have been the wise place to put it. But. I did meet the guy that built this house and he's only a couple years older than me uh, the house was built in 1980 I think I was 15 so he was only probably 1920 when he built this house so built it by himself so that's one reason you know you ain't got no experience at that age none but I mean this this over here you can see how it slopes downward but who's to say that that hasn't been changed or erosion i know a lot of that is eroded since i've had it and but this i don't see that that would have changed i would have put it up here but this was all woods when i bought the place i tore all this i, I made this open this was not open i wished i would have filmed video when i bought the place because you would have really seen the difference than what it is now so yeah, this isn't going to get done today. Uh, this will be a couple of videos. Uh, I put my videos out the same day. I don't wait until I got the whole project. Let's put them out the same day, man. It's more realistic. Gives me more content. So, But that's what I'm doing. If I can get this dug, which I will finish this, and lay that uh, cloth down and get the pipe in there, I'm good. And I think that's where I'm going to stop. Uh, there's no way in hell I can dig this one too today. It's just too hard on me. But I'm getting it done. It's not the hardest thing I've done here. That deck was. All right, UPS is here. They got my blood. I ordered a blood pressure monitor. I think I'm gonna need it today. time of my life no I'm not I'm sweating in March Whoo! that stuff heavy man and I'm starting to hit tree roots I didn't think of that got a tree there that one probably ain't gonna have any but probably hit some up in here so that's probably all I gotta do now is is come back to about there and uh, 
man if that don't work nothing will once i get it in and once i get get this finished i'll go and uh, check my, where my height of the ditch because i want it to be obviously deeper there than up here but i don't want it too deep you know i just want a couple inches of rock over it so it can do its job and on this i decided to just go there's so much dirt coming out i decided to go ahead and try to fill in as much of this as i can so i'll just start piling it up that's uh hardly any rocks in that stuff because it's just clay this is a weird place i mean you go dig out there hit all rocks different kind of soil but this is the main reason you don't see any basements in houses in the south they don't build them because of this clay and i see a lot of people moving here from out of state digging basements well yeah if you do the but like the grady's are doing in that that should be fine but the problem is the water just seeps and seeps and seeps that's why nobody's done it uh even the older homes here you don't see a basement because of the way the soil is i grew up in oklahoma and it's the same way there and they just they don't put them in houses they're i hope they work for those guys we will see but uh it's never never been done in building here all right this is starting to wear on me so i don't have a lot to go here if i can get this one done today well then we'll have a part two because i don't think i'm going to be digging this today it's too it's too hard on me man but I, I think i can get this done probably get the pipe laid in we're going to try to get it buried uh we'll see uh even now if it rains now at least it's gonna flow out so all right i'm gonna probably take some lunch come back finish this dude up don't you go anywhere because to you guys it's only a few seconds but to me <laughs> who knows miss rooster i'm going in and eating some lunch and i'm gonna i'm gonna put you in charge of my boots okay i don't want tilly coming in here putting my boots on going for a walk what's with the lizard tongue you know he's got the lizard tongue going with your nose touching is that how you hit your nose they don't make them any goofier than you they just don't can't go any further and that's about as far as i'm gonna go with that one that's it doesn't it i don't have any issues with water in here well i won't when that's in that's where that was pulled up around the mower so i dug about 30 feet and uh now all it's left to do is go check and see what the depths are because it has to have it's obviously deeper back here i think i'm too deep right there i'll probably have to fill that in 
and uh, I gotta dig some more out of that but I can't go any further today guys my body is telling me I started at 9 and it's 1 o'clock now so 4 hours that's about all I'm good for on any kind of a project now it's just too hard on me but we're going to finish this thing I gotta finish by Wednesday uh, we're, we got a good start on it got a good start and I think I showed you these they just screw together I'm going to take my uh, multi-tool and cut some slots like one two three on the top they give you a green line there you, and then the bottoms you don't put any holes in that obviously all right man let's go see i'll show you that tree stump i lit the other day friday i think when i lit that maybe it might have been saturday oh there's millie moo what you doing millie moo you getting a break from them babies yeah you won't have to be in here much longer. Yep. It's a, it's a warm one. Well, there's Miss Tilly. She's in a nice shaded area. Yeah. Miss Rooster's up on the biscuit as usual. Let's go look at this tree stump. I have been driving around that thing with the mower for 10 years almost. And it ain't there no more. It's been burning. Another place I can bring some of that dirt. Uh, let's come in here and get some of that. Kick loose. Ah, I ain't got the steam. I ain't got the steam. But look at this grass, guys. I'll be cutting in about two days, probably. Yeah. It's a growing. Your ears inside out, Miss Tilly. What are you gonna do about that? Is that your radar ear? In case, in case something comes up. All right, guys. We're gonna end this part one of the French drain. I'm gonna go in and have some French fries, and tomorrow morning I will wake up and have some French toast. No, I don't eat bread anymore, so we're not gonna have that. All right, man. Thanks for joining me. Happy trails. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like. But don't, I repeat, don't click the notifications. Unless you like to get annoyed by all the shorts I put up. Happy trails. Sleepy girl.